Good morning, everyone. We're out setting my Thanksgiving brake line. We got until Sunday to give it everything we got. So that's the plan. Timber to corn trail here, DP, fill it up, get down the road. Alrighty, gonna be plinking in a 220. Sorry, I know the truck's humming. The, the spare one I'm driving is a diesel, so it's a little louder than my other truck, but get this 220 set here. Got a perfect little funnel trail coming through. I'll show you guys here in a second. This is about 30 yards uh, down the road from where we put that DP. So, perfect, perfect trail here. Timber to corn. Plink that 220 in right there. Get some blocking in there. And hopefully, this sucker here has a coon for us tomorrow. Got us another beat down path uh, coming down a fence perpendicular to the road uh, from a big timber going to a pond on the other side of the road. So fill that no BSDP up and get out of here. Alrighty, making our way down. We got two DPs down here. Gotta get set. Oh, this is a, you guys can see this big culvert stacked up of concrete. It's a kind of a brushy draw to a brushy draw with corn on both sides of the road so should be a good spot get these dps baited up and get out of here all right guys <clears throat> Ooh, losing my voice already we're heading down to this culvert i showed you guys there's this hidden beat down path going through here you guys can see it going through there just beat to the mud so about 80 locations down uh long ways to go actually brought more traps with me uh, that i didn't get pre-staked i have a bunch more locations mapped out too so if we have time today we're gonna expand even more gonna have to to get what i want to get so we'll get out of here all righty guys heading underneath of one of my best spots that i got uh normally it's good for Three or four triples, couple pairs, and phenomenal bridge. It's actually a beaver dam upstream here a little ways this year. So, get that baby filled up. Come over here to the next one. I got some 220s in the high bank trail this year too. I'm, first year I'm setting that this early. Curious to see how it does. So, as you can see, just bang them out, one, two, three. That's the best part about pre-staking. You can go through and really pound out some sets in a short amount of time. Show you guys where I got these 220s. Once I get up here. I got the high bank trail goes right through here. Got one of my 220s there and the other one's right here so and i got them set to where they'll hopefully flop down the side of the creek bank there and get out of the trail that's the intentions of it anyways whether it works out or not is we'll see had to make sure i had one almost bite me this morning so these are some of my more used 220s so I gotta be kind of careful. Not near as many 220s on this route as the first week route because that cover just gets knocked down basically with every day that passes um, at this point in the year. So get some grass, kind of slim pickings for good blocking for this one here. I'm gonna have to go over here and grab some of this. Get that baby in there. Okay, there's one. Let's get the coon tracks everywhere. Let's get the second one. Guys, on these, when there's these tall, harder stemmed weeds, 
I try and pin it between one or two of them. It really seems to work really well for these 220s because they're used to walking between those. Um, and putting a 220 in their face next to some more hard cover like that seems to make them not care as much about them. So we will run our muskrat stretcher through there. That baby right in there. Grab a little bit of this tuft of grass. I don't want to disturb that too much. Kind of weave some of it on over. That's all junk. Some more good long stuff. Fence in this other side. And we'll be getting down the road. Good grief, guys. This stuff is looking good. Whoa. Trail going up here, trail going up there, and the DP. Oh, waiting to be set. I got a 220 on the other side too, so got to go get that. Oh boy, there's a rock or something there. That, oh, everything's a little, a little damp this morning. We got some rain last night. I got burrs all over my hat. I'm a mess. <laughs> oh. Let's get down here where we got this 220. Sitting here waiting for me. It's gonna be a gonna be a big day tomorrow. That's the plan. Get this baby set. I'm gonna do that one on that second notch there, or first notch, it depends which way you, you're looking at it, I guess. Just cause these are some of my older 220s and they need a little more tension on them to get them to hold. So if I can just tuck this baby right in here. Oh, beautiful. Get some grass, maybe. Need some more. Need to tuck that in over here. And we'll be getting down the road. Alrighty. Got us another really, really good spot here. Oh, uh, they did end up disking the corn on the other side, but they didn't disk it too deep, so I don't know. What's gonna happen with it? They've never disked that field before. So, kind of interesting, but we'll find out because we got DPs all along this sucker. Some cat food and pure anise mixed in there and we'll be getting down the road. Alrighty, heading down to another culvert here. My DP's all messed up and knocked down, beat down path going up here. Oh, this is a timber to timber location and a very good one so put this dp baited up and we'll be getting down the road all right you guys can see this phenomenal trail going up here timber edge running over to a cornfield uh, i lost my dp on the other side of the road due to some county workers lost quite a few to county workers this year they think it's a great idea in november to start ripping stuff up so we'll be getting down the road all righty Got another 220 location here. Uh, going up to a cornfield. Uh, there's a little creek that kind of runs parallel to the road on the other side. So I tried it with DPs last year and didn't have all that much luck. Uh, it's been corn two years in a row now. So tried it with DPs. Not the, I shouldn't say not much luck. I still caught stuff, but not near what this trail looks like it should produce. So. We're going to try it with some 220s. I have had trails where 220s outproduce DPs and vice versa. So they're not always hungry. There's one. I got these cables gone in different directions. So the hope is that they don't get in both and that they each flop opposite directions if we get lucky enough to have a double. That's the 
the theory anyways see how well it works got them about four feet apart so i've had success doing this i setting them up similar to this in the past so we'll see if it can work for us here too just need some grass kind of make her look all pretty here Get some more grass into that other side and we'll see if we can't get ourselves a 220 double another one of just the best of the best as far as dry land locations go guys that is that one last year i believe we took nine coon off this trail uh, there's some buildings and timber on each side so it's a timber slash buildings to timber slash buildings it don't get much better than that for our big old jumbo iowa coon so we'll get out of here down in another one here uh beat down along here with coon tracks so another great spot i believe this is we're at 170 locations something like that so. and guys a lot of these dog proof places i'm setting them i mean that coon's going to be a mess but i got enough water here to clean it oh uh, and that's that's the main thing for me i don't want to be catching coon that are an absolute disaster if i can't clean them when i'm right down here so because cleaning them when you get them home sucks so we'll get out of here all right guys we're on one of my best roads oh and this side of the road's corn there's a big <clears throat> big section of timber on the one side i mean big like 150 200 acres of solid timber and when this is corn there's like four or five culverts along here and you can really really hammer them in every single culvert so we got a pair in this one we're baiting them up and getting down the road all righty down in another bridge here i uh, just lost another trap to someone who dumped kin i'm not really seeing these ones either so kind of interesting Cause I know they were right here, so no, no, tough area, I guess. It's a new one for me, and not paying off well so far. Oh my goodness, guys, we're not in a road ditch. What am I doing? <laughs> Setting some some ground that my dad owns here. Our corn was just destroyed by coons. So I'm gonna plink in some DPs in this dry creek bed here, and. At a couple different spots and see if we can't maybe thin them out a little bit it's pretty convenient to get down here from the truck so just park right on the edge and not a bad walk if it's got a got a pair down here so we're gonna load her up see what happens i'm gonna come back late season too and put boxes in here but for now We'll stick with our DPs. As you guys can see, I didn't have these pre-staked either. So, done with the pre-staking stuff. Uh, there was some funky business going on with some theft. Uh, people wasting coon under bridges, just throwing them underneath of there and then taking my traps when they found them. So, DNR's been notified, but two more thrown in, guys. We'll be getting down the road. Boy, I'm excited to see how this, wow, that is straight down. I'm excited to see how this private ground's gonna produce. This will be the third double that I'm plinking in here, so. All right, for you guys' entertainment, I'll do it. I'll do it. It's gonna hurt though. I mean, this sucker is straight up and down. Woo! Ha! Ah, made her. I like the looks of right over here by this root system. That looks like a area a raccoon would want to be caught by me, hopefully. So I'm going to try and hammer them out of here as quick as you can. Uh, this place would actually be great for some coyote trapping, but we'll see. We'll see how motivated I am after a couple days of hammering the coon again to get some coyote sets out. 
we'll see oh man tags all jacked up there that baby tucked back on there uh part of the reason why i'm setting this stuff up too is i'm gonna be coming through here later in the day uh, i really don't like coon being in the ditch all day but on this private ground i'm really not too worried about it so it should be good hopefully it'll be a good way to finish our day off catch some catch some coon on this private ground i'm gonna go up this way <laughs> we'll be getting down the road my oh my that is mowed grass that is a heck of a trail there i want to get this we're in the road ditches again just for an update sorry you guys are probably bouncing around like heck on that get this dp set in here i gotta go throw another one on the other side and we'll be getting down the road well i got the road line set so now i'm gonna be throwing in some coyote sets because why not uh, we'll see what happens got a missouri crossing here uh i used to catch one here all the time so we're gonna throw some sets in here and see how many coyote sets we can get out see if we can get some coyotes here over the next couple days all right guys uh, as you can see it is dark now i just put in the last coyote set i ended up getting six of them out so it took me an hour but i did get six of them out so i'd like to get a couple more out in a couple more really good spots but got about 380 ish uh coon traps out today and six pretty pretty good coyote sets i'm pretty excited to see how they produce so figured you guys would want to see something a little different after all the coons <laughs> so we got some coyotes sets in we'll see what happens tomorrow i'm not expecting anything too great on a first night catch for the coyote sets but i know them coons will be running so anyways y'all until tomorrow thanks for watching